I'm going to show you a couple of things you can do uh, with your lasso. This first one is to do with random encounters in uh, in open world as you're just wandering around, um, going about your business. You will spot, uh, you'll already know this, I'm sure, you will spot columns of smoke or campfires in the darkness, as it is here. Um, they're kind of random stranger encounters, uh, often which are quite interesting. Um, but more often than that, uh, end up with someone telling you to clear off. So what can you do in that circumstance? The problem is, in terms of keeping your honour high, which I've told you is important, you want to keep your honour high, but you want to go around looting as well to, to keep your money high. So it's this trade-off of honour versus money. There is a way of, of reaching a nice compromise and also not robbing yourself of these uh, random stranger encounters, which are, which are an important part of the game and um, of keeping things lively and interesting as you play it. Uh, and some of these are, some of these, are, you know, if you just ignore them completely, you miss out on some pretty entertaining things. So, you can't shoot, even if the guy kicks off on you and draws his gun on you, you can't shoot him without lo losing honour. So here's what we're going to do. Um, and of course, doubly then, if you shoot him and loot him, you lose honour for looting him as well. But you don't want to ignore these guys completely. So let's head over here and see who we find. Well, in this instance, it's nobody. Now, what that means is you might be off in the woods. So let's uh, have a look around. We can loot the luggage, we can loot any of the belongings. Oh, hair tonic, love it, love it, my favourite thing. Um, we can loot all of these belongings, all of the luggage and the, and the baskets and whatever is lying around without losing honour, so that's not a, never a problem in itself, honour-wise, to... Uh... All right, this hasn't Get quite gone well, as I've intended. Witness for assault. But what we're going to do is hog time. Out of your hands now, mister. And that's the general rule. Come is on, let's sue them this. and hog time. And that's the thing to practice doing. So there you've noticed I've not lost any honour. Uh, I've also uh, saved myself, saved him running off as a, as a witness. Uh, I'm going to try and open this inspect the basket um, I'm not going to loot him but I'm not going to uh, because that would lose me honour and in uh, Miracle Tonic okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to drink my Miracle Tonic which one is it it's one of these ones with three potent Miracle uh, Miracle Tonic there we are I'm going to drink mine might as well and I'm going to take the one there and never waste it. Uh, so like I say, I'm not going to kill him because that loses me honour. I'm not going to loot him, that loses me honour. And there's enough looting of of unambiguous bad guys which doesn't lose you honour. So uh, in terms of that honour, money, balance, this is the way to do it. Loot, the, hog tie the guy up. Lasso and hog tie. Don't loot him, but loot his belongings. And I think on average that's the thing. Is there a bit of food over there? What's that in the bowl? Hair, yum, it's good for horses. Um, yeah, that's the way to do it. Uh, I'm going to see if I can find another one that's more typical. In other words, where where the stranger is actually um, is actually there. Let me just show you actually to uh, to prove to you. You might be tempted, having done this. There's nothing in it to. Um, there's nothing. There's no point killing them if you're going to sue and hog tie. But look, if you loot. Seventy-one cents and cigarettes, but you lose a bit of honour. Now, is it worth losing honour for seventy-one cents and a packet of box standard cigarettes? I don't think so. So that's my advice: is lasso and hogtie. Don't shoot them, don't loot them, but loot their belongings, well, and then I can just leave I'm them there, and that doesn't cost me anything. And he's also gone as a witness. Okay, I'll see if I can find another one where the uh, there's a, there's one over there, isn't there? So oh, let's go and well, let's do that straight away.
Let's see who's over here. And we'll see if there's... If we can have a more typical encounter here. Oh, damn, I should have... Should have set an example, shouldn't I? Oi. And hitched him. Hitched her. I did tell you, didn't I? Can I hitch against the street? Yeah, there we go. Always hitch. Now, who are these guys? Looks like a guy on his own. Let's go and say hello. Hey, I'll keep moving if I was you. Okay, so that's typically hostile. Hey, all right. Especially at night, people don't like to interrupt it. I'll try and defuse it. Well, there's two of them. Nothing to lose, I suppose. Come on. The truth is, mister, our last batch of shine didn't turn out so good. You think you can help us with locating some ingredients? We could reward you for your troubles. Well, uh, there we are. Look, sure. I've not Why seen not? this before. You know, wild tobacco might give us the rich, earthy flavor we are looking for. Tobacco's got big green leaves and sometimes flowers why so um there we are that was worth getting involved in you don't want to ignore them completely try and defuse try and be friendly and we've ended up with a side quest so that's useful isn't it let's see what we can find can we find this tobacco for them No, if that had gone the way I was expecting, then even with two of them, you can lasso and hog tie. It's not that difficult. Um, but we've picked up a side quest, haven't we? So that's... Uh, Never to be sniffed at. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to keep doing this. I might uh, cut it here, though, because there's nothing really exciting to be learned here, is there? And uh, I'll find you another camp with hopefully a hostile guy and uh, just show you one more lasso and hog tie so that you get the idea.